In this video, let me consider one numerical on superposition theorem. For the circuit shown below, use superposition theorem to find current I. This is the given circuit. Here we can see that there is a 2 amp current source. Here we have 2 angle 90 amp current source and here we have voltage source. So this circuit consists of 2 current source and 1 voltage source. We supposed to find current I where current I is flowing through J2 ohm register. So as we know in superposition theorem at a time we supposed to consider one source. So here we have three sources. Consider one source at a time. So first I will consider the voltage source that is 8 angle 135. I will open 2 amp current source and this 2 amp current source. Consider 8 angle 135 voltage source alone. The equivalent circuit is shown below. So now let me draw the equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit considering 8 volt voltage source alone the current source are open circuited. When we open circuited these two current source are removed we get only 2 ohm register here as we see that no current flows here as it is open. So no current flows in 2 ohm register. So entire current flows only in this loop. Now I will assume that the current in this loop is assume that it is flowing in this direction I will call it as X. So applying KVL to this loop that is apply KVL to loop I can write 8 angle 135 is equal to minus J1 into X that is X is the current plus J2 into X or I can call it as J2 minus J1 is J1 into X Therefore, x is equal to 8 angle 135 divided by j1. Therefore, x is equal to we get 5.656 plus j 5.656 which is in polar form or in direct this is in rectangular form or in polar form it can be represented as 8 at an angle of minus 135. Therefore here we can see that current I is flowing left to right whereas current X is flowing right to left. So I is opposite to X that is I is equal to minus X. Therefore I is equal to minus X. So I will call this current as I1 because I am considering only one source I will call it as I1 so I1 is equal to minus X therefore I1 is equal to minus 8 of 135 degree amps so this is current I1 which is obtained by considering voltage source alone now in second case I will consider 2 angle 90 current source alone so in that case voltage source is short circuited and this current source is open circuited. I will draw the equivalent circuit now. So now consider 2 angle 90 source amp current source alone. So this is the circuit. Here I have considered only 2 angle 90 source alone. Here there was a current source. I have opened it and there is a voltage source I have shot it. So here we can see that there are two loops. This is one loop and this is one loop. The same circuit I can draw it as. So here we can see that the current 2 amp will divide here. Part of the current will flow through this and part of the current will flow through this. We will assume that current through this branch is say x current through this branch is y. So here y is nothing but i. 
that is y is equal to i let's see how to calculate y we can apply current division rule that is by applying current division rule that is y is equal to current division rule says that total current total current is 2 angle 90 into opposite resistor opposite resistor means now we are finding current y so current y is flowing through j2 ohm resistor current x is flowing through minus j1 ohm resistor so y is flowing in j2 ohm resistor opposite to this is minus j1 ohm resistor that is the opposite resistor it is minus j1 divided by sum of these two registers that is minus j1 plus j2 that is nothing but j1 so solving this we will get y is equal to so here j1 j1 will get cancelled we will get minus 2 angle 90 which is nothing but minus j2 therefore now current through j2 ohm register i will call it as i2 here this is i2 therefore i2 is equal to minus j2 amps let this be equation 1 let this be equation 2 in third case consider the another current source that is 2 amp alone open this current source and short this voltage source let me draw the circuit so now consider case 3 that is Two amp source alone. The circuit looks like this. Here we are considering two amp source alone. There was a current source that I opened. Here there was a voltage source that is shorted. Here we can see that there is a two amp current source. Part of the current will flow through here. I will call this current as I3, and part of the current will flow here. I will call it as say I4. Now we need I3. So again apply current division rule that is by applying current division rule that is current I3 is equal to total current total current is 2 into opposite resistor. Now opposite resistor is the register in which another current is flowing another current is I4 which is flowing through it will flow like this and flow through minus j1 that is minus j1 divided by sum of these two that is j2 minus j1 simplifying this i can write minus 2j divided by j1 so here jj will get cancelled will get i3 is equal to minus 2 amps therefore now total current flows through j2 j2 ohm is i therefore i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so here i1 is 8 angle minus 135 and i2 is minus j2 and i3 is minus 2 so solving this will get i is equal to ten point eight three at an angle of minus 135 which is in polar form or in rectangular form it gives minus 7.656 minus j 7.656 so this is the total current flows through the register and which is found using superposition theorem thank you for watching